Hey everybody, Chip Wooten, the DIY Outdoorsman here. You guys have a bunch of these decoys laying around your garage? Dirty Canada Goose decoys? Well, I do, I got about a dozen of them. And I'm um, gonna be doing a bunch of hunting in Southeast Missouri this year. There's not a lot of Canada geese there, but what there are a lot of is speckle belly geese. So I'm gonna show you how to turn a goose like this into a goose like this. Stay tuned. All right, so first things first, uh, we gotta wash this thing. It's got spider webs and dirt and all kinds of stuff on it. So we gotta get a good, good wash first. Uh, we're just gonna do that with some simple palm olive soap and a uh, scrub brush. One of these hard bristle scrub brushes you can just pick up at the grocery store, Walmart, wherever. So it would honestly probably be better to do outside, but it's dark right now, so I'll do it in my kitchen. Alright, so now that I got the thing all washed off, I'm gonna dry it and uh, then we'll start applying some paint. Now ideally you would probably do this somewhere outside, but um, it's kind of cold and it's dark. So if I do that, you guys won't be able to see it. So I'm going to do it in my garage. I've set up a little box from a dozen decoys I bought, duck decoys, which you see over here. Got about mm, five, six dozen hanging up on the cork board right now. So uh, going to get started with this. Uh, first thing we're going to use is some flat brown paint. What you'll notice is I'm kind of staying away from the white pot part here at the butt of the decoy because that's going to be white eventually anyways. But what I am doing is getting all these dark feathers up top and the head real good and kind of also leaving the front chest part alone too because I'm going to come back and, um, and hit that with uh, a lighter color as well. So just make sure you get the head real good the back, these feathers on the butt. Sucker turned around. Do the other side. Same thing here. And this doesn't have to be perfect. That's got it pretty good. All right, cool. So we're done with the brown. So if you're looking at speckle belly geese or white fronted geese, as they're called, um, they've got quite a bit of brown on them, but then they also have a lot of kind of like grayish, and then they've got a really white front on them um, with usually black bars on them. Sometimes they're called tar bellies. Anyways, there's lots of different names for speckle belly uh, for speckle belly geese, but um, they do have kind of a whitish front. And actually, the color I'm going to use uh, for that is called camo sand. Um, you could probably also get away with with a khaki, but I had this from the project where I did my gun, and I'll I'll link that up here above as well um, when I did the optifade job on my gun. So um, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this, and then we will let that dry and then we will move to the hand painting portion.
So now we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back with uh, our hand painted portion a little bit. Okay, so now our goose is done draw drying. Uh, the spray paint dried on there. It looks kind of a little shiny still, but it's dry. Anyways, um, so now we need some paint. I actually picked up this thing of acrylic paints from um, Home Depot. I got paid like eight or ten bucks for it, maybe. And what you need are these three colors. It's like bright orange color, white, and then black. So I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so now we got our three colors. Um, so first I'm gonna start with the black. All right, so we've got a little uh, one inch sponge brush here. I'm gonna just dab my black like that. What we're gonna do is come up here first to the eye. Just get that eye. Eh, not the best, but job done and then we're gonna come down here and if you're looking at the speck above like here's a decoy for reference they've got these little bars on their belly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we're just gonna and then when you get over the front not very good light in here you get over here to the front One of the reasons why I like this sponge brush is because it doesn't go on, you know, straight. You've got some texture to it, and it just it really looks a lot more natural. At least I think so. So there's you know what guys, I didn't color inside the lines when I was growing up and didn't do the greatest job there either, but you know what? If you get close enough to see the eyes aren't painted in all the right in the lines, um, hopefully they're dead geese. All right, so I got a dis little distracted doing my eyes and forgot to finish the bars here. So I'm gonna come back to my paint. You don't need a lot of it. In fact, you can kind of dab some of that off, but you wanna come right back in here. Kind of do this and make some of these go up a little higher if you want to. Go all the way up here. You know what? I think that looks pretty, pretty dang good. I'm happy with that. All right. So now we've done our black lines. And what you'll notice is um, here on this decoy here, you've got a strong white line there and I'm actually going to use this three inch brush here actually this is a, I think a two inch brush so I'm gonna get plenty of white paint on there and you can see kind of there's a line right here that's right where the flight feather comes um, over the top of the rest of the feathers so I'm gonna start about here just apply this white just like that you see that and also the butt on these birds is real white too so we're gonna put white there as well Good strong line there, and I'm actually I do want to add a little bit more. All right, I like 
like that. All right, cool. So now you got the strong white line. I've repainted the white on the butt. The last thing to do on this side, um, let's go ahead and do the white on the other side too. Come up to right there. Okay. So now I need to get up on this head and finish this up. And one of the really important things, there's a white that comes right through here. So we're gonna take some of this white paint. A little bit onto the beak. Okay. Let's paint on this side. So you want to paint a little bit on the beak, but then you also want to go a little bit up onto the actual feathers. Now I'm gonna go wash my brush and then come back and do the orange. All right, now that we finished that white, um, it's time to paint the rest of the bill orange. I'm gonna take some orange paint here. And come up to the bill. And stop painting. And now this this is not perfect by any means. I'm not not an artist, nor do I ever claim to really be one. But if you're trying to make a Canada goose decoy look like a speckle belly, this is a great way to do it. Okay, so there you have it. I mean, we're gonna need to let this dry, but we started with a Canada goose, and now we have a speckle belly. Here's a uh, a Higdon to kind of compare it to. Here's our finished product. All right, so this one last little part. Um, you want to kind of give some texture to the feathers here on the back of this goose, and I'll show you how to do that. You're going to do it with this black acrylic paint and a paper towel. All right, so open your paint up. Get a little bit of black paint on there. That's actually probably more than I need. What you're just going to do is kind of just dab it in a couple places. But then, what you're going to do is take the dry part of the paper towel. It's hard to do while you're filming. See how that's dry like that? Run it over the back of the recoil like this. And what that does is it really shows a texture of those feathers and that do that all the way out to your tail. Pretty cool. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below if you've got other ideas of things you'd like to see done um, love to do some more videos for you make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time